hello friends welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start this video friends i have done my best to give you the most accurate answers if there is any incorrect answer please suggest me in the comment section but i hope every solution is almost correct so this is week 6 assignment of data science for engineers course so let's see the first question what is the relationship between the variables coupon rate and bid price so the correct answer i have got is third option bid price equals 74.7865 plus 3.066 into coupon rate so according to this given uh, data data set i have got third option and moving on to the second question so in the second question choose the correct option that best describes the relation between variables coupon rate and bid price in the given data so when i did this i have got the final review as strong positive correlation it is strong positive correlation so mark second for second question first option moving on to third question what is the r square value of the model obtained in question number one so for third question it is based on this given data set so i have tried this so when i did this i have got the answer for third question as third option 0 0.7516 moving on to fourth one what is the adjusted r squared value of the model obtained in q1 that means they are asking the adjusted r square value so when i did this question i have got the answer for fourth question as option b 0 0.7441 so mark second option as correct answer for fourth question And moving on to the fifth one based on the model relationship obtained from q1 what is the residual error obtained while calculating the bid price of a bond with coupon rate of 3 if they are asking the coupon rate of 3 then 13th one it follows so so coupon rate 3 and it's given bid price 94.50 right 94.50 and after the q1 we have got the price as 89 point something with the equation we have got in first first question so the difference will be nearly 10 point one right guys actually I will show you one thing please wait so here so not this one okay here they are asking what is the residual error residual error means obtained value minus predicted value right so the update i think 94.5 is the obtained value is it right 94.50 minus using the first question option that means 70 uh, bid price equal to 74 plus 3.06 into 
x like that so when i did this i have got 89 point something like that so the final answer will be 10.51 so i think it is positive if we reverse these digits i mean numbers then we will get negative but i think the, it will be 94.5 is the given one right in this in the data set so it is the obtained value and 89.5 uh, like that it will be predicted value then plus 10.51 so i think first option is correct moving on to sixth question state whether the following is true or false so here covariance is a better metric to analyze this association between two numerical variables than correlation so for this the probable answer is false moving on to seventh question if r square 0.6 ssr 200 sst 500 guys we know that ssr plus sse is equals sst so it is 500 it is 200 so sss equals 500 minus 200 so 300 is the probable answer guys if there is any change you can please suggest me in the comment section i think there will be no changes moving on to eighth question linear regression is an optimization problem where we attempt to minimize so what we will minimize in linear regression so we will minimize some square error so guys mark option third third option moving on to the ninth one guys before that in some uh, websites it's also mentioned ssr and some it shows sse but i think ssc is the mo most probable answer if there is any change i will update in the comment section don't worry and moving on to ninth one so they give x and y values respectively each value so there are here n equal to 5 because there are five observations so they gave an equation they are asking the values of r square and adjusted r square so when i did this i have got the answer as option a so mark first option moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one so they are asking beta not and beta 1 values here they have given sxx x sxy mean x bar mean y bar so i will show you the formula actually i have previously shown you so this is the formula here b1 means beta 1 so beta 1 is sp xy by ssx so that means so here beta 1 is equals sxy 52 Point zero one by this value divided by this one fifty two point five three. Answer is zero point nine nine. And beta naught is equals. You can see the formula there. So zero point nine nine means first option. I will show you the beta one also. Here the formula. So B not equals y bar minus B one x bar. Y bar minus that means six point three two y bar minus what we got beta one zero point nine nine. What is x bar? Four point four six. So after this we will get the answer one point nine. 
so mark first option so friends these are the solutions for week 6 assignment in very soon i will upload uh, week 7 also if possible so friends hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section if there is any update i will mention there itself so before the final submission once again visit the comment section you can also make suggestions to me in the comment section regarding any change in the solution so until the next video goodbye thank you